Alright. So what I'm doing now, I'm filling up the buckets and then adding dirt. The sand to the bottom and the dirt to balance out the buckets so they don't move around too much. And just doing it by hand. Found that that's a lot easier than trying to just pull it in there. Because that was too hard to try to get the aim correct without dropping a little bit inside the bucket that has all the, the store bought soil basically. I don't want any of that in there. It's got it's basically sand. Okay. So it's basically sand. If you look at it, see the two. I don't know if I would have picked it up that well, but see it's basically sand, but really tiny. Like really tiny sand. So it's all it is is just tiny rock and not organic material at all. And that's what we want in our dirt so that way we're growing in organic material. Compost and leftover day dried up composted grass. Things like that. Speaking of grass, this backyard. I'm starting to think now maybe pull up most of it. I'm not sure which side yet. But one of the sides and then laying out like AstroTurf, you know, the fake plastic grass. So that way I don't gotta worry about, you know, the whole drought thing and all that. Just save all that water and just make it fake grass. It feels close to the same. Okay, close enough. So that way you'll pretty much not notice it anymore after I say maybe like a week of walking on it. I don't know what it would feel like with no shoes on, but I'm never out here in the back with no shoes anyway. But we'll find out. That's a possibility. Something I might do back here. If so, of course, I'll make a video about it. Now, when I keep a record for myself, and at the same time, should anyone choose to watch it, oh, who knows, maybe I can uh, teach you something. But to be honest, I'm not the best of teachers at the moment when it comes to gardening. I just started last year, and this is the first year that I have more of an elaborate setup going, or more investment. And by investment, I'm talking not just monetary, not just the money, but also my time, you know, investing more time into it. And they say time is money. I'm gonna use some of that money and some of that time to make it so I don't gotta go to the grocery store so much, make me a little more self-reliant. Besides my dad, if I'm growing up, he would ask for help in the backyard or not exactly ask, more like, so you're coming out here to help me in the backyard? And of course I would kind of argue the point of how I don't want to do it, but not make it sound like I don't want to do it, just that I mean, I have something better to do or, you know, because I want to play video games or I want to just relax because I went to school like any other kid. And, you know, just most of my time was at school and of course I didn't want to be there because I, I didn't sign up for it, you know what I mean? I didn't sign up to go to school when I was forced to. And it's unfortunate I didn't realize how important it would be until, until I grew up and I was out of school. So like, I'm considering going back now, but the only problem is I don't know what for. Like the whole age thing, I don't care about. Like that doesn't bother me at all. Because I know for a fact I'm gonna see people there who are maybe even in their 60s or older than that just go to school just to go to school just to learn more and I know that I don't want to stay at the job I currently have because there's no there's no ladder to climb there the harder I push the more money I'll make because I work piecework so for every part I make I make a chairs for lazy boy so every chair we make me and the people on my team the amount of money gets split between all of us there's nine guys on the team. So the 
500 dollar chair. Well, that doesn't go for it. Okay, five guys. We gotta make a lot of. So you know that's that type of backbreaking work. Annual labor. I don't want to do that the rest of my life. This type of manual labor is good for me. It's healthy. It's therapeutic. It's, what I'm starting to believe now, or maybe understand, is that it's what a man was meant to do. And that's how we. That's how we are where we are today. Is from planting, growing, hunting, hunting and gathering. Where it used to be. And we're not saying I want to go back to that type of life. It's just makes sense to me now. And since I was raised with, I'll say, significant enough first-hand experience and knowledge of growing your own vegetables, your own garden in your backyard, thanks to my dad, forced me out there. I mean, I didn't want to go out there. Of course, I was a kid, I wanted to play video games. I still do today, actually. I started leaning away from the video games, and now I'm like I'm, I'm out here. It's Sunday, it's like four o'clock around that, four p.m. somewhere around there, or four thirty. Should have did this earlier because that pomegranate needs to go in the ground. But yeah, I guess I'm seeing the value to what my dad taught me. Like I'm glad he taught me how to work on my own car, like do the basic work, oil you know, change, change of brakes, things like that. And I'm glad he did show me that because it became useful. Anyway, I'll be back.